hello guys in this video we are studying percentage concept and uh, I am providing some introduction about the percentage so this is Amit Pasha and our channel name is smart vision please subscribe for more updates because we are bringing success mantra to your knowledge okay we will start today's session so first uh, everyone knows what is the meaning of percentage right that is per cent means 100 right per 100 and we need denote the percentage symbol as this this is the very basic thing everyone knows I think If you understand the concept of percentage, it is going to help you to solve maximum questions in aptitude section. Why? Because it can be asked in simplification, approximations, profit and loss, ratios, simple interest and compound interest, and of course in uh, data interpretations. So before going to all these topics, we will learn about the percentage in detail so in this video I am going to explain how to convert percentage into fractions and how to convert percentage into ratio or vice versa and how to convert percentage into decimals right all these techniques I will uh, explain with the help of examples but before going to that I will just tell you two concepts that you have to keep in mind each and every time you solve the percentage questions so first is see if you are asked to convert percentage to any other format you have to divide by 100 okay if suppose x is asked to convert into a percentage or write it in the format of percentage then you have to divide by percent if it is asked as x percent okay then second thing is if you are asked to convert any other form to percentage then you have to multiply suppose x it is in our decimal or x by y any other number is asked to convert into percentage then you have to multiply with the given number okay how we will apply this I will tell in coming examples examples see in first question what will the what will be the fraction of 20 percent how you will convert this percentage into the fraction this is question given as 20 percent percent already told 20 percent means 20 divided by 100 and we will simplify this on 5 fraction it will converted into the fraction that is 1 by 5 our option is B I know it is a very simple concept but we do mistakes in those simple steps while doing the while solving the problems in the examination so we will move to the next question the ratio the ratio 5 is to 25 expressed as percent is equal to that is pi ratio 25 we can write it as 5 divided by 25 and if any fraction we want to convert into percentage we have to multiply with 100 right 
now we simplify this for answer will come out to be 20 percent so our option answer is option c 20 percent okay though it's a intro video so i'm going from the very simple ones it's simple examples and uh, moving to the next question 2.07 can be expressed in the terms of percentage as so it's very simple 2.07 into 100 right that is equal to 207 percentage Our option is C so next question half of the 1% written as the decimal okay it is little tricky see you can solve this question in two methods first I will explain what is the traditional method to solve this, this question given is half of 1% that is we can write it like this half of multiply 1% that half into 1% means 1 divided by 100 we multiply this 1 divided by 200 if we divide 0 0.005 this is our answer you know this is also a very simple method though it is a smaller number you won't face critical here but in simplification percentage is the one fourth part of the question so you cannot waste your time i mean uh, you cannot spend two minutes or more for single mark right so the another way of solving this is see we know one percent and 1% of half is 0.5%, right? And 0.5% means 0 0.5 divided by 100. Now it has become simple. Now answer will be same 0 0.005. So our option is D. Our next question is, what is 15% of 40? Okay. What is 15 percent of 40? So 15 percent we can write as 15 divided by 100 into 40. So if we simplify this, 0, 0 get cancelled. So 2, 2 za and 5 za, 5 1 za, 5 3 za. So remaining is 3 and 2, that is 3 2 za 6. So our answer would be 6 percent. Right. It is very simple but in next video in coming videos I will take the percentage problems but while solving this you cannot solve bigger questions by using this method right so this is another way of solving it is Now we know what is the 15% of 40 is asking. That means 40 number is equal to 100%. Right. 40 number is equal to 100% and he is asking if 100% is equal to 40 and what would be the number for 15%. Right. So we need to find out 15% is how much. See if you are writing the number to the left hand side then number should come to the next digit would be in left hand side if you are writing percentage on the right hand side for next calculation you have to write the percentage in right hand side ok if suppose you are writing 100% is equal to 40 and uh, instead of writing 15% here if you write 15% to the right hand side it will go completely wrong so like like this uh, now we are here okay 40 percent is equal to 100 percent sorry 40 number is equal to 100 percent and we need to find 15 percent so we have to cross multiply that's it very simple funda it will come out to be next step of this value 
okay when some questions will asked as a tricky in those tricky questions you cannot find directly this expression so it is better if you know this technique how to write and how to cross multiply directly you will get the, this method then you can solve and answer will be same or else one more method which is more efficient easy to because it reduces calculations that method also i will teach you if anyone like this that also they can adopt okay now we know 40 number is is equal to 100 percent if we want to calculate for one percent okay if you want to calculate for one percent how it will be one is equal to 40 divided by 100 right if you simplify this to 5 so 1 percent we came to know 2 divided by 5 and in question if they asked for 15 percent or 12 percent or 80 percent whatever the percentage they ask you have to multiply the specific percentage in here see in this case they have asked for 15 percent so i will multiply with one percent value with 15 then i will simplify this five ones are and three is a three into two six so answer came out to be same so i guess this is very efficient method but in some cases you won't you cannot use uh, this technique but it's better you learn and keep in remember so okay the next question says 2 is what percent of 50 right see in this case 2 directly we can write or I will solve by cross multiplication method that is now we know 2 is what percent of 50 right here 50 is 100 percent is equal to 50 now they are asking two value is how much percentage right see writing this part is very important if you interchange any digit to the right hand side or left hand side it will go wrong so while writing this values please be careful okay now we have to cross multiply this will come out to be 100 into 2 divided by 50 so we will simplify this to so 2 into 2 4 percent okay. a number is increased by 20 percent gives 660 the number is okay this type of calculation will help you to solve profit and loss questions okay this basic method you will, we will learn here the number is increased by 20 percent and gives 660 that is a number we know any number let's say x okay if x number is increased by 20 percent that it to come out x plus 20 and is equal to 660 but after putting x value we need to solve this equation it will become little hectic so what i suggest is a number is increased that number we will take as 100 percent plus 20 percent is increased that is 20 percent is equal to 660 so directly by seeing the question see, now if you see the question read the question directly you can write a number is increased by 20 percent means a number is anyhow 100 percent that is 120 percent is equal to 660 and the number is and in question they are asking about the number we know the number is 100 percent right but we don't know the value of that 100 percent we know the value of 120 percent that is 660 but we have to find now 100 percent value number 
so for this percent below the percentage percentage will come so 100% if you want to find out what will be the number just cross multiply that will come out to be 660 into 100 divided by 120 zero zero get cancel so six five one zero that is five five zero so our answer come out to be five fifty option b okay i have explained here two or three techniques anyone you can adopt because everything is easy Okay, in coming videos, I will bring some more examples which is go to the critical questions. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Please comment below for any queries, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. And please, please, guys, share this video among your friends so that everyone can avail maximum benefit from these free tutorials. Share knowledge to increase yours. Thank you.